Hi, welcome back to AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on chapter 7.3, finding area of a triangle using trigonometry. This is a great A video, although this equation is on the front page of the exam, doesn't matter, it's a great A, so let's start. Have you ever think about in your life, when you do trigonometry, you want to find an a area of a triangle. You have to always find that 90 degree, draw that base times height divided by 2 nonsense. And really it's mm, not helpful at all, it's just a waste of time, giant useless waste. And so now we never have to worry about 90 degree because this uh, trigonometry method is way easier and much quicker. You just need a good calculator for it. Which, if you don't have a calculator, then yeah, you still need that 90 degree. I'm sad. So yeah, let's start talking about uh, half AB sine C. So, I have a question here where I have two sides and an angle in between those two sides. So, how to find the area? Not to find the R. Where's the A? A, R, E, not S, A. There we go. And uh, that's a typo. Remember, check your work before you start recording, please. And yeah. Yep, my bad. <laughs> Always. Okay, so I've got that covered. And what I need to do is half A, B, sine C. Well, what is A, what is B, what is C? Who knows? Well, uh, what you do is you have mathematically we construct a triangle that uh, has a specific labeling system and that uh, looks like that. So every angle is related to its opposite side uh, that I will cover in the next chapter I believe and to get the area we have to have an equation called half a b sine c what does that mean is that if you have an angle that uh, if you if you know an angle in between two known sides then you can find the area by using this formula and it doesn't matter if it's half B C sine A, half B A, no, half A C sine B. It's all the same. And so that is a good thing, I guess. Uh, for this particular question, we just need to fill in the blanks, labels, uh, quote to quote. And I really don't like labeling things because, because it just messes people up so much and it's not worth the uh, trouble. So what you need to do here is to do a half, which is divided by 2, not 0.5, times A, which is whichever side, 7 or 9, doesn't matter, 7, then times the other side, which is 9, then we have a sine 20 degree. And this is the equation that we use and let me fashion my calculator and do this right here and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have my calculator. I'm kind of doing it quickly, I hope. And so after entering that string of information or instruction, I've got an answer of 10 point seven seven which in three significant figures is ten point eight units squared and why did I use units squared? It's because it is an area and we use this particular thing to say about if a side is not labeled it's uh, something squared and each one um, number for each one, it's 
a unit, a single unit, so this area is basically uh, a bit more than 10 times 10, ten, uh, 10 times 10, uh, well, no, it's a, never mind, it's a bit more than a 10 times 1, so it is 10.8 units squared, doesn't matter, it's just how I represent area, let's say if there is no cm or meter or kilometers or I don't know gigameters whatever that is how you write area unit square so after my giant rant about what is a unit square unit then let's talk about some tips about doing areas using trigonometry um, so the first thing you need to know is uh, to know that triangle with ABC and the opposite side is the same letters basically and that is really important for you to know which um, side is which and how to apply that uh, have a b sine c rule also uh, if you remember that if you have an angle in between two sides you can use that rule whenever you want just it's just great and I think if I'm right about it you can find out every single thing about a triangle um, using only three different information and that is very interesting of a triangle you need three or try number of information to find out all six informations which is really interesting and it's fun to play with triangles so now time for some practice and these are the questions that I have created randomly just by thinking and yeah basically you have to find out the area of all four triangles and you have five seconds to think about this and I will be right back for the answer there we go this is uh, these are all the answers for the four triangles and I've rounded them all uh, to three significant figures and that is how normal people do it I'm not sure uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've learned something, leave me a like and uh, give me some comments about what I can improve and I will see you next time.